everyone, welcome back. Yes, we are back with another vlog. Today, oh, I need to do some gardening because recently there's been trees that have come down um, and now the area where the trees were doesn't look very nice and I'm trying to plant some plants just for it to just, I don't know, look nice. So I need to do that. I've never done gardening before, so uh, I don't know how it's gonna go. Also, I do need to finish that round table, which I didn't do last week, but I'm gonna start this week. So I can finish that too. That shouldn't be as long as the coffee table. It's only small, a small area to work with. So yeah, lo lots to do. Let's get on with it. I don't really know what I'm doing. And there's all this, I, I call it tarp. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know whether it's just cut that because it's kind of gone under anyway. So I might just cut where it is and just leave this bit because I'm gonna put mulch on it anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. Anyway, these are my plants. I don't know what this is, but it's like a grass plant. I got this, nice. And I, I love this one, Mount Tamboretha. Sweet, I'm gonna put that one in. Maybe I'll do that one first, because that'll grow quite wild. I've made a hole, but I don't know if it's big enough. Oh dear, here's my plant. <sighs> I've managed to plant three. I'm getting better as I go along. I know how big the hole has to be, deep enough, put soil over, water it, and then I'll put the mulch on top. I can show you what I've done already. One, two, oh, three. I've got another hole here because I've got these to plant. So I need to do them. I think I'll do this one first, because that'd be nice at the front. Okay, where are my gloves? So, dug the hole. Garden carpet, width 40 centimetres. Shit, I've probably done it too close to that one. Be all right. Full sun in pots or garden. Prefers well-drained soil, use premium potting mix. Low water requirements, well-drained soil. Okay, that might be a bit deep. Can you still see the hole? Okay, here, just like that. And she should really grow over. I might have to put a bit more soil. And then I'll just get some soil and then pot around her more. Done it, please don't judge me because I've not gardened before. Planted, gardened, I don't know. Anyway, I've not done it before, but I think it's okay. Now I've got the gardening bug and I want to do everything, but I will. I feel like I should have started from the top of the fence and then made my way down because the dirt, etc., is gonna go onto the mulch that I've put down, but it's okay, I've done it now and I didn't think about it. Here we go, how's it looking? Going to remove that eventually. Ooh. Ooh, yes, yes. <laughs> I hope it's okay. I hope they grow. I'm not sure. I can get some of Monty's poo actually for some fertilizer, which I never thought about. I probably should have put that under the mulch. Oh well. Anyway, that's it. And I'm gonna go and do the coffee table now. Well, not coffee table, the other little table, the side table. We're back, I've got the piece of wood. Um, I've just put some wood in here because of the split was so big. Um, so now I'm just gonna use my multi-tool to cut it down and then I can fill it on top with that um, carbon filler again. I hope I've got enough. I don't know if I do, but we'll see. Also, I've noticed that this piece of wood has been picking up damp whilst being in the garage or like a bit of water. I don't know where that's come from, um, but sh we'll see how we go. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do my polyfiller. Well, not polyfiller, sorry, my carbon filler. Oh, I think I've got enough. Okay, this is good news. I need a proper workbench because uh, <laughs> this is not it. I'm just using my little like picnic table. <laughs> it just moves around a lot. I realized before that it was so hard to get the carbon filler off. But this time, I'm not gonna try and put it uh, all over. <laughs> I know some of you are probably saying, why don't you use epoxy resin? Wow. <laughs> One, I don't have the setup for epoxy resin. And two, epoxy resin is an expensive mistake. I don't know how much it is, but like per litre. But I know it's a lot of money. And to do the table like the uh, coffee table, it's, um, yeah, that probably would have cost maybe $600. And this carbon filler is uh, $50. And I've got two lots out of it. Right, I can't, can't really do much right now because I keep moving the filler around. I'm gonna let it dry and then probably add more to it. Yeah, that should be okay for now. Although I'd like to do epoxy resin for one day, just my, I don't have the setup right now because you need a, a mold for it. Um, I don't really have the space, so 
yeah anyway i'm gonna leave this for half an hour well probably an hour because it's quite thick that's it for now i might just go to bunnings and get some more flowers plants and stuff because i need to finish more of the gardening early the next morning it's the next day because i put more carbon filler on last night i just wanted it to just have some time to dry like really it's a little bit sticky now but i don't know if it's because it's kind of warm outside it's hot today it's like i don't know it's gonna be 37 38 degrees celsius i got some pads i've actually got an orbital sander now as well i thought my last one was orbital it's not <laughs> so got this it should be easier to sand of course i'll use 40. I knew I should have got a um, belt sander. And that is my opinion. I'll stick to my opinion that belt sanders are for this. This is, it's good, yeah. But one, I'm working with hardwood. It's just taking forever. Like I'm not getting anything off it. I've got 40 grit and it's just like, to me, this is looking patchy. Whereas if I had a belt sander, you know, you just do that and it took, ugh, it's not even been planed either. So I'm trying to like kind of plane it with sanding, but it doesn't work like that. So yeah, and I know people say, oh, but you can go wrong with a belt sander. Yeah, well, if you use it right, you won't. But I've probably only ever had one mistake with a belt sander and that was using softwood. And then you just, you know, you learn from it, you don't do it again. Because if you go too much like this, if you angle it down, you're gonna take a chunk out of the wood. If you have it right, you're not gonna take a chunk out of the wood. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I just want a belt sander. I don't know if you could see, yeah, you can see there's a bit of water damage. Now, that's not really coming out either. And I'm just like, it came out here a bit. I don't know, this is what this poly, uh, carbon filler looks like. I'm not gonna use carbon filler again. I don't, I don't really like it, to be honest. I think next time I'll just have a go at epoxy resin. Might be an expensive mistake though. I've got something I need to talk about. So up until the last point that you just saw until now, I lost my second channel on YouTube. My second channel consists of a lot of reaction videos. It's um, like topics, mainly talk about modern dating. And I had a message one day that my whole channel just got deleted. Just, just like that, deleted, gone. Um, you can't even get onto the channel. You can't do anything. Once it's gone, it's gone. I had no warnings. I had no strikes, nothing. So I just woke up, it gone. I'm trying to appeal it. I've not even heard back. It's been like three days now. I've heard nothing from YouTube yet. It can take up to two weeks. It just doesn't make sense. If you guys know my second channel and you watch the second channel content, you will know that there's nothing on there. So I've got to take it down for sexual stuff and nudity. All right, where? <laughs> where where on my second channel is that? That it doesn't even make sense. Also, there are many other creators that do the same kind of videos, that do these type of videos, and their channels haven't been taken down. And I don't want their channels to be taken down. I just need to know where's the fairness in this because I feel like I'm being targeted, whether it's from YouTube or outside of YouTube. I don't know, but this it's not even fair anymore. Like I'm try I've put so much work into that second channel and my main channel for it to just be taken away like that is just really disheartening and. I don't know, it's, it's kind of scary because I just think, well, if that can happen here, then what can happen elsewhere? You know, this is all I do. This is my career. This is my, this is what I do every day. And you guys know that I'm trying to work towards a rescue farm, a sanctuary for animals. And it's just like, oh, it's just really, 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 really upsetting. And it's not fair at this point. Like, why am I being targeted? It doesn't even make sense. Like if I can't get my second channel back, I, I don't I don't know. I, I Luckily, I do have my Patreon and I can put stuff there without stuff being taken down. So if you do like the second channel videos and if you could just support me over there, I'll post weekly for what you'd normally see on YouTube. You'll see on Patreon now. I, I love making these second channel videos, but I, I can't just I can't do it without the support. You know, I have to I have to pay editor. I also spend the time to put into these videos. <sighs> Sorry, I'm making me really stressed. Just felt shit since I woke up and heard it. It's crap. But anyway, I'm gonna hear back from YouTube. I don't know when, it can take up to two weeks. I tried to reach out to them on Twitter, or X, 
and um, they didn't really say much. They can't help me right now because I've put an appeal in. So I'll keep you guys updated there um, if I do get the channel back or not. But yeah, I'll let you guys know and keep you updated. You know, the thing is, is people are going to be on the second channel that aren't going to be on the main channel either. So they probably won't even know what's gone on. Um, but yeah, I just want things to be okay. And right now it's not okay. It's just annoying. It's frustrating. I feel like I'm just being targeted. It's just, just not fair, but... Oh, we'll see and I'll keep I'll keep you updated. Anyway, I'm gonna stop crying now. I'm gonna do some work. I bought a bout sander um, because I couldn't just get down to where I wanted to get down. Also, I can't get rid of this water stain. I don't know if anybody has um, any advice for this because I'm not sure. I did see somewhere that you can buy this chemical and put it on, but they haven't got that in Bunnings. I couldn't find something similar. I don't know about putting a chemical to remove water stains. I don't, I don't know. This is all new to me, really. Like, I just worked with planks of wood and they were pretty cheap to buy. So if there was a water stain, I just wouldn't use it. I'd use it for something else or, like, cut away that. But I can't cut away at this. So I'm going to keep trying to sand it and just see where I get with it. I'm just doing this bit here. And I don't know, but I love like this. I don't know, like it's like a, I don't know, like a tiger, tiger. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to take too much off, but I've taken so much off here, and now I don't know what to do because I like this bit. Oh. oh, you know what? This piece is perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I can't get down to the, like I can't get it out. I might just have to leave it. I just hope that when I put the oil on, it'll just make it a bit darker and you won't see the water stain as much, I hope. Okay, so I've measured from here to here. I've done it 60 mil, same here, 60 mil. And then I've checked that this is the same, so it's 16 inches between each. So in a way, I've kind of got a triangle, although it doesn't really look it, but <laughs> I'm just hoping it will balance out. It should do. Anyway, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. pretty good I'm just gonna put the oil on I'm just worried about all this now but to be honest like I said before I'm not really that fussed it's just for me but yeah pins look good well, oh it looks nice okay I'm gonna put the oil on dry yet but this is what it looks like I just can't scrape off my mind how beautiful this would really be without this watermark I did this just ruins it to me my opinion I'm sure most of you agree <laughs> but I just can't get it out I don't know how to get it out I don't have a planer but it is what it is it's fine for now I'm glad that I kept like the little marks I don't know maybe it looks a bit too much I'm not sure but once it's dried it'll be okay I also noticed that the wood has come through from where I put the wood in but that's okay it just gives it a bit more character <laughs> a table with much character I'm gonna leave it to dry probably whew, I might just leave it out till tonight I don't think it's gonna rain it's blue sky and then I'll take it inside I'll probably put a lamp on it just to hide all that ugly bit <laughs> And then I'll show you then what it looks like with some decoration. I don't know what piece of furniture to do next. I'm not sure. I have to think of something to do. There needs to be another coffee table. And hmm, I'd like to make a shoe rack and a coat rack and maybe a live edge table for like a hallway table. But it's now three o'clock. Well, what time is it now? 3.20. I'm going to go and have some lunch and then go and see Monty Man. Me and Monty having some lessons at the moment. We figured out that Monty sees me lower in the pecking order. So that's good. <laughs> so having some lessons, I'm just trying to assert my dominance without being cruel. Like I'm not a bully, I don't want to hurt him. I just want him to know that I'm the leader. It's okay, you don't have to fight me. You don't have to run away from me, you're fine. I'm here, it's okay. So that's what I'm learning at the moment, it's all this groundwork stuff.
I'm gonna leave it there for today. I'm gonna take some photos or sorry, I'm gonna take a video of the table once I go and take it in. It has dried now. Next time, hmm, I'll have to think what I can do. Uh, another little woodworking piece. Like I said earlier about Patreon, I can just post what I want. So that way I don't have to worry about videos being taken down or my channel getting taken down. If you wanna see extra content now, I'll put the link for that in the description below. Please go and check it out. And it just means so much to me to be able to support me there too. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll go and take some videos now. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye.